Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. Much better. All right, so let's see how this goes. I, I, I just had a double shot run, so <laughs> probably work. <laughs> so now we're, we're Pop Rescue. We're, we're super, super excited to, to share with you a, what we've been working for the past uh, three weeks uh, or so. A, it's been an amazing journey and uh, definitely learn a lot and, and we're just hyped about continuing our growth as developers. Um, just uh, by, by, by way of introduction, my name is Jose Godoy. I work in the financial services industry um, at Citibank. And, uh, hello. So, uh, I actually joined the program uh, because uh, I wanted to somehow diversify a little bit my skills and, and I was curious about fintech so it's uh, with all the developments in blockchain uh, and and also uh, because I, I mean uh, I have a, a tendency to, to be like more on the creative side and I was very interested in, in creating something out of nothing and, and now for the first time I think I'm, I'm able to, to build something and, and express myself uh, in, a, in a nice way, in a cool way. Uh, I, I actually tried to go in through, through the entrepreneurial route before uh, as a non-technical founder and I was miserable. I had a very difficult time. So let's see, now, now I have new skills and very happy to, to, to have uh, worked with, with my great team here. So, I'll introduce him. Hi, good evening to everybody. I'm Bharati from India. I have masters in microbiology. Um, I am here because my husband is a software engineer. I have been working. Um, I have been seeing his work over uh, last few years, um, and that triggered me, triggered my interest in programming. Um, that's why I chose to come here. Um, initially it was so hard to understand the concept but over the time um, as I understood the uh, complete structure I'm comfortable now. It's really interesting um, to write the code that works without issues. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Definitely give her a round of applause, Bernard. These have been tremendous as, uh, as part of this team. I want to say good evening to everyone. My name is Ricardo Rodriguez. Um, I am a teacher. I've taught for 13 years over at uh, Ojas Elementary, Dade County Public Schools. Um, I started with a non tech degree, and one of the things that I wanted to do as uh, I've gotten older was to get into uh, technology. I'm actually pursuing a degree right now in computer science on the side, but I also wanted to do uh, come here because of not just the technology that's involved. Four Geeks is more than just learning to code. Four Geeks has resources outside of coding to help you get uh, into a position of technology, and that was the the big thing for me, because I've done coding off and on on my own, uh, never in a serious you know, mode, but uh, here it's been amazing. The people here are awesome. They definitely help you out with anything you've asked for. Um, and I, the mentoring, you know, we have that for life. That's, that, that was the, the, the main thing for me. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just start explaining about why we created uh, Pop Rescue. So, well, first, first of all, I mean, I think it's important to note that, uh, I mean, we had uh, an amazing time here, and we really are very grateful to the team in the academy. It's it's almost like 24/7 access to unlimited knowledge. I mean, these guys are really amazing developers, and uh, it's it's great to have them as as a resource for life. So I would definitely recommend you guys to take a look at it if you're thinking about coding. So Pop Rescue, um, we're very proud. 
Uh, so how it came about? Pop Rescue came about because actually not long ago, maybe two months ago, I got stranded at home. Actually, my bad. I left the, the light of the, the car on the inside. Probably that's happened to you guys as well. But uh, the battery shut down. I didn't have a, a cable for jump start. And uh, actually, it took me like, I don't know, I think uh, three hours to, to solve a very simple situation. It was a new car, so I didn't know how to, how to open the thing. The, and, and I don't know, it, the first time I tried, the cable was too thin, so it wasn't powerful enough. I had to go get another cable from my father. So it was really a, 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 a hassle. So, and I'm very cheap, so I didn't want to call a AAA because AAA would charge you probably a hundred bucks to just do a jump start. So I thought, well, there's got to be a solution for this and uh, we had to build a project. So I went to sleep and the, an idea came up. I consulted with, with our team and, idea. and I, we thought idea. that we could build something. Mm -hmm. So I think we have created a very simple solution. You'll see, it's nothing extraordinary, but it works. And it's, uh, and it's a see. way, that <laughs> hopefully, see, hopefully see, it doesn't crash. <laughs> At least we tested it and it, it did work. Uh, okay. So, I mean, I think uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have a solution that it's simple. And uh, again, it's, uh, well, we, we're gonna continue developing this, <laughs> by the way, because I think there's an opportunity to actually disrupt Triple That's what I wanted him to say. Okay. That's what I wanted him and, to say. Uh, so, but Ati is going to explain how it works. Yeah. Um, the, project, the project is about creating a community of heroes to help people standard. Mm -hmm. uh, the heroes are mm, who is willing to help. The users are who needs help with battery, gas, or flat tire. Um, both the user and hero have to sign up to use our website. Mm -hmm. the, users, the, user will, the user will be able to submit the request once they sign in. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, uh, the message will be sent to all the heroes who are in the same zip code. And then, and then um, uh, once the hero accepts the request, um, he or she will get all the details of the users, such as lo the user's location and phone number. Um, after that, the hero can communicate to the user to solve the problem. Um, the tech stack that we have used in the projects, um, React in front end and um, Python with um, Flask and SQL Kami. Uh, frameworks in backend, and we have used uh, two additional APIs, uh, Twilio and uh, Google API. Twilio is for two-way communication yes. between uh, Hero and us, mm, and Google API is for reverse geocoding. Yep. Mm, Rick is going to demonstrate our project now. So as Bharati said, uh, the two main APIs are Twilio and uh, Google API and you're gonna see how it works. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and sign in as a user. There was just a delay on that. Okay, I have to do a hero, that's right. Uh, let me log out real quick. Sorry, I have to do hero first. Okay, so here is the hero sign-in page. The way this works is if there's anyone that is interested in providing help to people who are out there stranded, uh, they have to go ahead and sign up. So I need a volunteer who is willing to go ahead and be a guinea pig for this. Where are you gonna get stranded? 
Uh, no, we're going to get stranded here in the uh, main part of the building. Is there anyone that would be willing to go ahead? Hi. Miss Kenya, absolutely. All I need is um, just your phone number here. So give me a second here. You had a sticker here, so I just need uh, for you to just let me know. So just give me a second here. Kenya, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so Kenya, uh, what's your last name? Did I just get the first initial. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a C on there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put uh, Kenya at email.com. There we go. Uh, password, very simple. Okay, the zip code here is 33129. So we're going to imagine that you live in this zip code and you're willing to help people down in this area, okay? So the one last thing that I need Okay, so let's just change this right now. CBA, one, two, three, there we go. So I just need your phone number, please. 786. Okay. 334. 334. 3775. 3775. All right. We promise we won't spam you going forward. It's okay. Triple eight is expensive enough, so I hope I get this recruit. Okay. Excellent. All right. So we've gone ahead and uh, set you up as a hero here. So now what you're going to be expecting, excuse me, Jose, just for a second. So what you should be expecting now is whenever there is someone who is stranded, you'll be getting a uh, message through us uh, requesting help, and then you go ahead and decide if you want to accept or not, okay? So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. I don't need that. Go ahead and sign in here and this is basically the main page and how this works basically is you go ahead and you pick one of the three options so let's say miss uh, Tanya uh, or let's say I uh, had a flat tire so I'm gonna go ahead and put a flat tire here and I'm gonna allow this uh, to get my location and I'm gonna confirm so I click confirm and I get a success okay so what Tanya should be getting in a moment is a message from her cell phone stating that someone is in need of help. Yeah, hello Kenya, someone needs your help. Please reply with that, that, that if you're willing to help. Okay, so it's, it says, yeah, absolutely. Can you repeat that Kenya, please? Oh. Appreciate it, thank you. Hello Kenya, someone needs your help. Please reply 130 if you're willing to help. So you're going to go ahead and reply because you want to help. So you type in 130. That's what the code that they gave you. Don't give it to her. She's going to have to get another message. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Here's your user's details. First name, Ricardo, and phone number. Mm -hmm. My phone number. <laughs> His phone number. Right. Oh, you want me to say it? No, no it's okay. okay. Uh, but what's important here is, I have a link. is the location that where I am at. That takes me to Google, Google Maps. Link. Yeah, that is correct. And it takes her to Google Maps. Okay. <laughs> at which point, Miss Kenya can go ahead and send me a text message. She has my phone number. And then I can give her more details about what's going on at that point. And then, you know, then that's basically the service in a nutshell. Okay. Any questions? So, I know this is a project, but sure. is there a background check on that? So, this is obviously a very bare bones, uh, the, the ethical issues and, and stuff like that that hasn't even come to. to to the fruition yet. We just wanted to try to get something to work because what we wanted to do was try to have something similar to Uber, uh, but obviously, you know, we don't want anyone just signing up and, you know, you don't know because anyone could sign up at this point right now. This is clearly in a, in a very proto stage, uh, but those things could in the future be added on if uh, to ensure safety for the heroes and the stranded uh, as well. Yes. So I think w one of the things about safety is actually to have records of the pe person who's helping you. So eventually this is an application that would have the, 
typically the, the, the picture of the person. Cool it will probably check. have, yeah, you got to do a background check. So it's similar to the, I guess, to the process that Uber right. uh, does. So that's that's one thing. People are not going to go uh, do a crime if they know they, they have a record of it. So that's... that's yeah, what's, what's the incentive of I'm sorry? What's the incentive of fuel coming out? They have to give the zip code. Yes, okay. Uh, so, yeah, initially we we didn't set a pricing model, but there's definitely, you, there's several ways that we can build a pricing model into this. For example, you can start perhaps with a, with a basic price, okay, and saying like this is, we start at, I don't know, $25, $35 just to help you change the spare tire. So if you want, a, if nobody's coming, nobody has responded, the person can increase the price, right? And make it attractive to the to the heroes that are around you. And maybe when you get to a price, it's, it's market driven. If you're close by and when you get it, then you go help that, that person. So that's, that's the first idea that we thought uh, of a pricing model. There's a lot of there's a lot of potential to to give those incentives to heroes as well. So just like he said, I mean, uh, we want to make sure that heroes uh, get an opportunity. There's a lot of people that just want to you know help out, but there are a lot of people, as you said, for safety reasons and as well as uh, for incentives as well. Um, is there anyone else that had any other questions? Thank you so much, uh, and we appreciate uh, being here and presenting for you. Thank you for taking the time.